All right, hello everybody. We are back here for our third fountain pen review. Today we'll be reviewing this fountain pen. It is a Hero 1012 fountain pen, um, ordered with a calligraphy nib. Now, before I get going with the fountain pen, I'd like to discuss a new structure to the videos that I'd like to follow from now on. Um, I was looking over the other two videos that I had made and I realized they never followed any great structure to them. So I said I'd um, try and put together a new structure to make them a little bit more enjoyable to watch and a little bit less painful um, to have to watch. So the new structure will include an introduction, as in the name of the fountain pen, where it was bought, and the price in dollars, pounds and euros. The second part will be the parts of the pen, the cap, the barrel, the nib, etc. The third part will be a writing sample, and the writing sample will be used with this new format as well. Um, my camera flips the image, unfortunately, because it's a MacBook Air. I'm afraid I can't do anything about that at the moment. I'll explain everything about that um, in the third part of the movie. And then finally is something that I came up with um, myself was um, the use of ratings. Now, when I say ratings, I mean I'd have, I'm going to have four categories that a pen will be marked out of. Each category, a, pe a pen can score a maximum of 10 marks, and the total for a pen will be 40 marks. Now, the ratings will go under the he the following headings. Um, writing experience, writing comfort, capacity, ink usage, and design. So that would be the four headings that the ratings will go under for each and every pen. And I'd like to try this new structure just to see how it goes. Um, so that's basically just the small bit of um, news that I wanted to uh, convey. So I'm going to go straight ahead with the um, the video and we're going to start with the introduction. So here we have the Hero 1012 fountain pen um, ordered with a calligraphy nib, as I've said already. Um, I bought this pen on Amazon for $40 or £25, also translating to about €35. Euro. So I'm going to go straight ahead with it. Now the pen came in this box. This is a very, very nice box, I have to say. For the money paid, I didn't expect to receive such a nice, such nice packaging. Here on the box you can see, again, camera flips the image, sorry. Again you can see the word hero, the hero logo, and what I'm assuming is hero translated into some other language. You can see a small crest beneath all of that, and above that crest, below the hero logo, is, our, is the date 1931. I don't know what, that, what relevance that has. Inside the box you have the exact same um, symbols and words and logos and everything inside as you saw on the outside of the box. Um, the entire thing is cushioned. We have cushion here and we also have cushion here. Cushion here as well on the um, the hinge itself. It's a very nice box, I have to say. I didn't expect to receive such a nice packaging for the money paid for the pen. Um, it's definitely a pen that I think is intended for... It's definitely a box that I think is intended for the pen to be stored in long term and not just thrown away when you get the pen. So I definitely advise keeping this box. Okay, so I'm going to throw that over there. Um, and we're going to go from the introduction to the parts of the pen. Now this is, as I've said, the Hero 1012 pen. I'm going to review the cap, the nib, the section and the barrel. So I'm going to take the converter out and I'll speak later about the converter as well. So I'm going to start with the cap. The cap is, is quite basic. I quite like a basic pen. A pen that doesn't have a lot of... Um, isn't very ostentatious, is quite simple design, and I, I, I quite like a pen like that. So on the top you can see there's no great feature there, there's no semi-precious stone, there's no engraving or anything, and I don't mind that. Um, further down the barrel you can see there is a golden um, ring. And moving on to the clip, now the clip is quite tight. The clip is quite tight. I've used it for about a week now and the clip still remains to be very tight. It's, it's, it's quite a chore to try and clip it onto your um, shirt pocket. But then again, I think that stands to show that this pen is not really designed for everyday usage. Um, and I'll definitely talk about that when we uh, review the, the nib itself. This pen I don't think is meant to be used as a knockabout pen, if you know what I mean. This isn't a pen that is meant to be used every day. Um, a bit of ink there on my, my, my arm. On the clip, you can also see, maybe you can't because of the natural light coming in the window onto my desk, um, are the is the word hero here just at the top very top here um, Then there's a gold band at the end of the cap inside. There's not much more. That's the cap. It's a nice cap I like it. I like a pen that is quite simple 
Moving on to the nib. Now the nib is a calligraphy nib. I'll try and get it as close as I can. You see there the um, the design of the nib. Um, the one thing I'll say about the nib is when I ordered this pen, it was advertised on Amazon with two tones. It was um, it was advertised with a golden section and a silver section, and then it came just gold, which you know. I don't know what to think of it. I don't really mind that it came like this, but, you know, if I order something I deserve and I've paid for it, I think I'm entitled to get what I ordered. Um, but, you know, I don't really care. You know, it w still works perfectly. It works as, as intended. That's just something, that's the one outstanding issue um, for this pen, for me personally. You know, I don't know if it's happened to anyone else who's ordered this pen. I just know that this is what happens to has happened to my pen. The section is tapered. It's made of the it's made of very a uh, very reflective material. It's tapered. This edge here is very slight and very gradual. And if your fingers tend to rest on it, it's quite nice. Or it does it's not very sharp, as I know is a problem in other pens such as the um the Mont Blanc one forty nine. I know people who've told me that the the edge on the the section is very sharp and if you've so uh, if your fingers are so long whatever length they might be your fingers might tend to rest on that ledge and it can be quite uncomfortable um but for me my fingers are perfect are the perfect length for to sit on this this section it's it's a perfect size um but even if your fingers do tend to rest on a, on this ledge the ledge is very gradual very slight quite curved so that it's not very unpleasant uh, to to um be using. Also on the nib, you might not be able to see it, you probably won't because of the natural light. There is the Hero logo there and beneath it is Hero. There's also some slight swirl designs and that's about everything um, for the nib and the section. Moving swiftly along to the barrel, the barrel is the exact same design as the cap, starting at the end of the blind cap. Again, there's no feature there, there's no semi-precious stone, no engraving, no logo or anything like that. Moving down, you have a gold um, you have a gold band, exactly the same as the cap. Going along the barrel, it's just plain black resin. I'm assuming it's resin. It's the the barrel itself itself is tapered slightly as well. I quite like that also. Um, at the very top, you have another gold band, and then you have this sticker. It's not metal; it's sticker, which I wasn't really happy with. Um, I thought it was a little bit cheap, a little bit of a cheat by Hero. Um, but you know, it hasn't started peeling or anything. It hasn't caused me problems. So I suppose it's okay. You know, again, I wasn't really thrilled about that. On the sticker, you have these little reflective birds. They seem to be eagles. I may be wrong. Um, the eagles seem to be made of a little bit of a reflective material. The only thing that I can think of that they're quite like is the material on a credit card that reflects, is silver, but when reflecting light, it reflects in, a, in, a, in an array of different of colors. And these eagles, slash birds um, seem to be doing the same thing. Um, then you have the word hero itself slanting upwards from the bottom of the sticker towards the top of the, the very top of the barrel. Then underneath the word hero you have the hero logo and finally the pen number 1021. So that is the barrel, that is the cap and that is the nib. It's, it's quite a basically designed pen but I quite like that. I, I quite like a pen that isn't too ostentatious. Um, the pen itself came with a hero converter. Yes, that's the word. Hero converter, but God knows where that's after getting to now. So I just use a standard international um, converter. And it, it works perfectly well. It works perfectly. Um, so I'm going to put the pen back together, make sure that I haven't forgotten anything. Um, I don't know whether I said that I'd talk about the nib the way that it's not meant to be an everyday knockabout pen in the parts of the pen or in the writing sample but I'll go ahead and talk about it now anyway. The thing that I've noticed is that this pen it's very hard to get a, a very thin line um, when writing with this nib, this, this pen with this nib particularly but that's not a design flaw that's not what it's designed for. It's designed to be a calligraphy nib and that's another reason why I don't think this is an everyday pen to be used and kept in the pocket. Firstly because the the clip would be a little bit too tight and secondly because the nib itself isn't designed for that it's, it isn't designed for as you can see it is a calligraphy nib it isn't designed for 
straight, narrow lines. That's why I don't think it's an everyday pen. Again, that's not what it's designed for. It's, de it's designed um, to be used as a calligraphy pen. So that's not a design flaw. It's just something that, it's just an observation of mine. Cap is, cap is very tight on the barrel, not so tight that you can't move it. Um, you know, it won't come off if you cap it. It won't come off. So I'm looking here to make sure that I'm following my new structure. We've done the introduction of this pen. We've done the parts and I'm going to go ahead with the writing sample. I'll put the pen over here for a second. Now, I realized in the last two videos that even though I said I do a writing sample, I am never going to get around to it if I don't do it in the videos themselves. So I decided to print out this sheet that I hopefully I'll be using for the other pens in the near future. So here again, the image is flipped, but you can take my word for it. At the top, we have Nerdy and the Geek, established in 2014. Underneath is the chosen pangram. I believe that's the proper term, as in sentence that has all the letters of the alphabet. Below that, we have the chosen quote. And below that, we have a signature. The signature that I've chosen today is... John Smith. So that is that is our template for the writing sample. Now I'm going to go straight ahead. I'm just going to give the pen a chance to um one moment here. I'm just going to give it a chance to to start up again. And we are good. I'm just leaving my my equipment down there. So our chosen pangram for today. I'm looking behind here on my whiteboard is a quick movement of the enemy. of the enemy will jeopardize six gunboats. Now I don't do the calligraphy nib justice here because I'm trying to fit it onto the two lines but it is a very good nib. And our chosen quote, the quotes I might use in the the next reviews, I might just show you the, the writing there. The quotes that I'll use in the next few reviews are quotes that may be made by famous historical figures or by myself. Today is a quote that I'm going to use is one that was I've come up with myself. Uh, I came up with it when I was out sailing one day and we weren't making a lot of progress on our course. So this is the quote. Someone might have come up with this before, I know, but you know, this is the quote that I've come up with without anyone else um, helping. So. The quote is, look ahead of you, look ahead of you, comma, you see the progress you have yet to make, glance behind you and you can see I'm holding the pen very high so as to get as narrow a line as I can. Glance behind you, comma, you see the progress you have made. And I'll put have in capitals. So that's our quote. Again, I'm very sorry that the image flips, but you know, you should get the general gist of the writing. It starts up straight away. You know, there's no problems with ink flow. It can get a little bit wet at times, but it dries quite quickly because I'm using some cross ink. And our signature is John Smith. The famous John Smith. Trying to... Now, so there's the signature itself. Again, backwards, I apologise. The pen skipped a little bit coming along here. I'd like to do a little bit of a more flair with the starting J, but you know. Um, otherwise, the pen's very good for keeping up. It doesn't do great when you streak a line across the page. That, that's what it's not good at. Um, you know, so that's, that's the signature. Again, it's flipped. I really have to apologise for that. There's our quote. And there's our chosen pangram. So... That is the writing sample. The pen keeps up very well. It can get a little bit wet at times. Um, I'm just going to get a bit of, I can't stand ink on the nib. Um, it gets a little bit wet at times, but once you get it started and you're holding it at the right angle, 
you know, it's it's not a bother to have to be writing with at all. It's 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 a very good pen to be to be, to write with. So that's the writing sample. Hopefully, I'm going to be using this template in the other um, reviews. Leave a comment just to say what you think of using this kind of a format, um, and if you have any suggestions as to what I should do. Don't say get a new camera because I've said it to myself a million times. Don't say it. So that's the writing sample. Now, so we've done the introduction, the parts, the writing sample, and now we're going to go for the ratings. So I have the ratings here. In terms of writing experience, I've given this pen a 10. Um, in terms of writing comfort, I've given it a 9. In terms of capacity and ink usage, because this pen burns ink like I've never seen before, I'm giving it a 6. And design, I'm giving it an 8. So, out of, uh, in total, the pen, I've given it a total of 33 marks out of 40. So, that's the pen. I'm going to... So, overall, the pen is marked 33 out of 40. Um, it is the Hero 1012 fountain pen, bought with a calligraphy nib, bought on Amazon for $40, £25, €35. Euro. And that's the pen. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.